are going to be good at making money one way or another. I think we now live in a world where you have spectators and you have people who produce. It's the world is split in a binary divide between the two. And not everybody is designed to be a producer. Some people are designed to be a spectator. If I was, obviously I am a producer naturally by heart because I've lived a very diverse life. I have a lot to say and I consider, not, it doesn't matter what I consider, people consider my word valuable, obviously, so here I am. But if I was a spectator, let's say, and I didn't feel like I had the confidence or the knowledge or the charisma to sit on a camera and interest people, then I would try my very best to prove myself useful to a creator. And by joining their ecosystem and working alongside them, that's probably the best and easiest way to make money. There's a whole bunch of people out there that have the star factor, but they don't have the systems and the teams around them to truly be successful. So I would come along and say, listen, you can be the, sh the showman. I'll be the blood and guts underneath. And uh, we can do very, very well. I truly still believe as fucked as the world is with the matrix and the suppression and the inflation and the fed and all the shit we talk about. If you're a person who can turn up on time with a firm handshake, Oh who shit. Is, who is genuinely competent and doesn't lie to anybody. You're going to be fine. You're That's a destiny take. Yo, I'll vibe off that one million percent. The one thing that you can always do in life, you can be the most worthless, retarded, crippled, fucked dude, like ADHD, whatever the fuck, every problem. If you can be a guy that always shows up five minutes early and you are dependable, you're reliable, you're like, get shit done, like in a timely manner and you're communicative, you are so far ahead of so many people. Um, I've said this so many times. You can ask Cake, you can ask Jader, you can ask Mr. Moot, you can ask Dan. There have been a lot of premium talent people that I've had the, I've worked with. And then there have been like middling talent people. And if you can respond to an email within 24 to 48 hours, if you can deliver on a deadline, if you can communicate really well, you are so much better to work with than like the struggling schizophrenic artist who's like an amazing artist, but they're not reliable. They don't communicate. They'll go months without returning an email that you have no, you can't keep track of them at all. Like being a person that's just like five minutes early everywhere and is ruthlessly dependable is so fucking good. That is such a good skill to have. Holy shit. <clears throat> Never gonna starve. You're always gonna be able to make good money if you're a genuinely honest, hardworking person. Yep. I've never met a honest, hardworking person who will be there at 9 a.m. like you asked him to be, who completely fails in life. Yeah. So I think a lot of people who are still out here failing, they have a bunch of excuses. And yeah, we talk about how hard it is and it's true. But if you're genuinely about it and you can find somebody with that star factor and align yourself to them, I think you can make money no matter who you are. That's I think the best way to make money. So basically be a YouTuber. It's not no. about being a YouTuber. It's not, it's not about being a YouTuber. It can be anything. It can be a, you can find a Sorry, fucking star salesman and find a way to help his ass.